Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Train to Talk NYC. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. And today we're gonna be talking about subway transfers. We all know how the subway works. You take a train and then you transfer to another train. Transfers usually help you out to get to the area that you need to if the initial train that you got on doesn't. You guys already know how transfers work. But today we're gonna be talking about what transfers that people want into the system. There's a lot, there's a long list of transfers that people want into the system that will greatly impact them as they don't have to go all over the place to get the train that they want to. So we have a map right here. We're gonna look around, see what transfers that people like the most and uh, see if they're gonna be added or not. We're gonna be talking about how, whether I think that they're gonna add it or not or whether it's even worth it, worth the time to construct a transfer like that. So uh, let's begin. All right, so we're starting off in Brooklyn, and right here, a lot of people have been talking about this. It's the Broadway station on the G, and uh, the Hughes Street stop on the J&M, and the Lower Mercy stop on the J&M. And a lot of people want that big transfer to the G chain over there. I do think that this is going to greatly impact people, as you don't have to transfer a lot to the G train. That's one thing I don't like about the G, is the transfers, and it's just kind of hard to get to it. You kind of have to be on the F train in Brooklyn. If we go over here real quick, the G doesn't really have that many transfers. It goes all around here. And this is personally my pet peeve with the Culver line. It just goes all around all the good stops. Barely, it's like so close to Atlantic. But unfortunately, there's just no transfer there. Now, I think there was supposed to be a transfer from Atlantic to Fulton Street stop. And they actually didn't do it because it's too far. And I kind of see, I kind of see why. It doesn't really look far on this map. If you look at the Pacific Street Station on 4th Avenue Line and then over here, those look kind of far, but I'm pretty sure that's just how this map is. All right, now back on the G, J, and M, I remember when the L train was shut down and they wanted to have more connections because obviously the L's not going to be there, so they want to add more connections so people can get to where they want to go. And one thing that they did was that they um had a free transfer from Broadway to Hughes Street and Lorimer Street you with your metric card, you go out of the system, swipe your metric card, just like uh, Lexington 59 and Lexington 63rd Street stations. But that was only temporary and now it's gone. But I do think this is going to add a lot of options. This is going to add a lot of options into the system. If I zoom out real quick, you can just go straight to downtown Brooklyn. You can go straight here from the J train. Maybe if you're on the, the, the M line, let's say, and you want to go there, you can go here take the G and then go straight down to downtown Brooklyn and you don't have to go to Bali Junction and uh, take that A train. So that's a new little thing that they can add. It opens more options and that's one thing that I like about transfers, all the options, just like Manhattan. And of course you can go straight up to Queens as well. The J train obviously goes to Queens but I'm talking about this area of Queens if you scroll up. Let's say you want to go to Court Square for instance, that's just a nice connection. And of course it's always great to have that option there, you don't know. It's always great to have that option there, that's all. That's all I'm trying to say. Now, I am a man that loves transfers, but unfortunately, I just don't think this is going to happen. Now, one thing is that it goes right in between those two stops, and I don't know which one they're going to have that transfer to, to Hughes or, or Lorimer. I don't know, but the Broadway G stop is just right in between both of them. It's just perfectly in between both of them, and it just it's just kind of funny how it's just right in between. I don't know. I just find that kind of funny. Now, I've seen a lot of people with concepts of making a Union Avenue stop. The G runs on Union Avenue. If you guys look right here, Union Avenue, and Union Avenue goes uh, diagonally like this. G runs straight on it. Basically, people want a Union Avenue stop right here. I'm gonna add a little circle right here. Now, of course, they're probably gonna have to get rid of Lormer or get rid of Hughes or get rid of both. I don't know, but I feel like they're gonna have to get rid of both because that platform, this map uses dots, but platforms are rectangular. So that platform is gonna like extend. They might have to take away Hughes and Lormer and make Union Avenue, but I don't know. The trade-off is not really that great to get rid of two for one. And of course, they are gonna have to take some land be to build that station complex because um, the G is underground, and then they're gonna have to build stairs to the elevated line. Also, the Z might not be able to stop there, unless when they're rebuilding the station, they'll give it two platforms for express. But then I feel like if they do that, then the tracks are not gonna be, because if they're doing that, then they're probably ha gonna have to have access to the tracks. And then I don't think J trains are gonna run here for that construction. Even if they do it from Broadway to Hughes or Broadway to Lorimer, they're still gonna have to build a thing and they're gonna have to acquire to take some land. But I, I don't agree with taking down both stations and building one. That trade-off isn't really that great in my opinion. I don't like that trade-off, but I would like to see a transfer here, that would be nice. 
All right, guys, so we are in N Modal right now. And if you guys don't know what N Modal is, it's basically a game that lets you build your own subway stations, create your own custom lines. But the reason why I'm on this is because it has this satellite mode right here. And I kind of want to show you guys what, what the road kind of looks like. Okay, so we got the J train tracks right here. If we scroll over here a little bit, we got Hughes right here. But it's they're actually a decent distance apart, Hughes and Lorimer. If you don't look, don't look at the dot, look at the actual station. Right here, you can kind of see the red of it. Of course, they're going to be super close adding a station here, but it is kind of possible to put a station here. It's just that they're going to be so close that it's just going to be kind of weird. And plus, yeah, you might have to get rid of both because let's see if you get rid of this and put that here, then that's going to be so close to here. And then if you get rid of uh, Lorimer here and then put it here, then once again, so close to Hughes. And then putting one in between is going to be so close to both of them. Now, if you were to get rid of Hughes and Lorimer and put a stop here, they would have to take land. I don't see the gene stop anywhere, like the entrance, kind of too small to see on this map. But they're going to have to take some land. I see a little parking lot right here. Maybe they're going to have to take that land over there. This actually might be possible, no lie. And then there's like a little triangle right here. I don't think there's any businesses owned by anyone. So it looks kind of free. But of course, I don't really know anything about that. So I could be wrong. Yeah, there's just a lot of emptiness right here. So I feel like it is kind of possible to uh, take some land, build a new stop, get rid of Hughes and Lorimer, and then add that connection to the Broadway stop. But I just don't like that trade-off that you have to get rid of both stations. Let's say the MTA is rich enough to get rid of both of the stations, and then build a new one. It looks kind of possible. There's just a lot of emptiness here, so I'm just assuming that land doesn't really belong to anybody. Next, we're going to be going to Chinatown right here, and we're going to be looking at Bowery and Grand Street. I remember on one of the MTA videos, on one of those press conferences, I remember somebody came up and made a little request for them to have a transfer from Grand Street to Bowery. And I do kind of see why, because they're so close. I just don't really understand what this is going to do. And you have so many trains, you got Delancey Essex, you can go straight to Broadway, take the M or F to go to Delancey. Of course, that is kind of a lot of time because you got to go up just to go back down. Personally, I hate doing that, but it's like almost right there. You know what I'm saying? Delancey Essex is right there because um, if you go to the B&D, if you go to like the B&D in Brooklyn right here, they are express and they just go straight to Grand. So maybe they want that J transfer at Bowery. So maybe they can go to the local stops right here. If the Brown M was here, it can go to court and then go to Broad and then serve over here from, from 4th Avenue. So I guess that wouldn't be needed because you can just come and just take the M instead of taking the B and D and then wanting a transfer. It's not really worth it. I know they're super close. So of course, maybe it is possible. Maybe they can do it for cheap because they're kind of close. But I just don't see the appeal. And once again, this is in lower Manhattan. Train stations are so close together here. Personally, I have no comments on this. If they do it, then I'm not mad. But if they don't do it, I'm also not that mad either. It's just really these stops anyway. So it's not like you're really missing out. The B and D do avoid the financial district over here because they go on the bridge. So maybe if there's someone that wants to go over there, then I can see why. This transfer is just, eh, so far. All right, Lavonia Avenue and Junior Street. Now, they are doing a transfer here in real life. They do have an out-of-system transfer, but they are going to build a station complex connecting these two stops. And this is really good. Honestly, they should have done this earlier because, as you guys can see, if you zoom out, this is where this area is where all the trains sort of split out and go their own way. And you know what I'm saying? And, and when you add that transfer here, that opens so many opportunities on the train. Instead of going straight over here, you can now go up. And maybe you can even go to Queens much more easily. You can go to Broadway Junction now. You can grab the A to Queens at Broadway. The J to Queens at Broadway. And then the L, maybe you can go to L and then grab the M to Queens. And maybe if you ride, if you want to, you can ride the L all the way to the G over here at Metropolitan Avenue, Lorimer Street. But this is going to be very good. Opens a lot of opportunities. And this is where all the trains split out. And transfers are very scarce here. And also that underpass, that underpass that you go above the Long Island Railroad over here. It's kind of filthy. Next up is 7th Avenue and Grand Army Plaza. Now I don't hear anybody talking about this at all, but they do look pretty close for a transfer. I'm not gonna lie. But once again, is this worth the time? Probably not. I only have one reason that I would support this transfer from 7th Avenue to Grand Army Plaza, and that's because you can avoid taking that shuttle train. The Franklin Avenue shuttle is kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie, wait time is, it, you have to wait so long, 12 minutes plus for it. That's 12 minutes? And just to get like up here or go from Botanic to Prospect Park or whatever. Sometimes I'm like on the B train. 
and I'm too lazy to walk to the four. So I'll go here to prospect and get that shuttle, but then shuttle kind of taking a little long to uh, to arrive. So I guess that's the only thing that this transfer would offer, avoiding the shuttle, and I guess also avoiding the much the the excessive walking that you have to do. I only thought of this idea just because they're just super close. If you look at 86 and Avenue X, there was an out of system transfer here. I think it's still active. I have no idea. I don't know why this was added, because you can just go to Coney Island now. Of course. That is kind of annoying for you to do that. That's what I like about the DNN. If you go over here to the DNN, the DNN trains, they have an opportunity to transfer right here. And that's completely genius. And uh, the F doesn't really have that. Now, of course, there aren't any stations that near the N. I don't know what caused them to, to think of adding that. And also, they look kind of far apart. I don't know why they even thought of doing that. I don't think they need any more transfers on all four of these lines to Coney Island. I think they're just fine. And once again, they're all just far apart, so there's no point at all. Now, if you look at Queens, um, I heard some people talking about Queensboro Plaza and Queens Plaza. I do kind of like this. I do kind of like this a little bit. The only thing is just the 7. The 7 kind of comes from Queensboro, and then it goes up, and it gives you a chance to transfer to the Queens Boulevard line at 74th Street Broadway. So you can just take the 7 at Queensboro. Queens Plaza doesn't really... It's just Queens Plaza. It doesn't let you get a chance... To go up here but you should have taken the n and w from 59th and not the r so um you know what i'm saying that's just kind of weird the only reason why you would think of a transfer is because they both kind of have a similar name that's basically it i feel like they will be able to build a complex on the queensboro plaza because that's where the n and w are elevated and they go back on the ground but honestly this isn't really gonna add anything that's only if you want to get up to astoria it'll help out with that it's not like you're adding a transfer over here where all the lines split apart. You know what I'm saying? Just like the 3 and the L train. But yeah, that's the only reason. They have a similar name. That's it. As far as 59th Street and 63rd Street goes on the Lexington line, it's kind of a weird transfer. One thing is that you have to go so far to get to the F and Q trains at 63rd Street. You gotta go outside. And this is a permanent out-of-system transfer. A lot of people want them to build an in-system. But the trade-off isn't really that great. It's only if you want to go to Queens and then get the F train or maybe you specifically want to go to Roosevelt because the R does run on Queens Boulevard at 59th. But maybe if you want to go to Roosevelt, but that's it. And once again, if you want to go on 2nd Avenue, that's where the 4, 5, and 6 goes. A lot of people don't really like transferring here. You have to walk down so many stairs at the 63rd Street stop. It's kind of like deep as two levels and everything. And I forgot the 4, 5, and 6 does have like two levels as well. Because I think they did that because Lexington is kind of narrow. So all these stops right here have two levels. And lastly, we're going to end it off with Lower Manhattan. Now, Bowling Green and South Ferry. When the Clark Street Tunnel was shut down. And then the 2 was going to South Ferry. The 3 terminated at Chambers or 14, I forgot. But then the 4 and 5 were all local in Brooklyn. But what they did here is they added a transfer. An uh, outside system transfer with your MetroCard from Bowling Green to South Ferry. Now the distance isn't really that far from the five, the four, five to the one train. The distance isn't really that far. So they can probably build like a little tunnel underground. But then again, it's just the one R and W trains. Why would you want to transfer to the one from the four and five? Because it's just the dead end there. And if that's only if you want to go up here, maybe if you want to avoid the walking at Fulton. And then if you want to go up here, chambers and they could just go straight to the west side and avoid yeah and avoid the slow part right here from chambers to park place two three go slow there that's the only reason why you would want to transfer i guess and the r and w honestly w is a dead end and r and the four and five they all stop similarly they all make local stops right here and you got another chance of borough hall as well and atlantic it's just if you want to just go up here and be straight on broadway or if you want to be straight on seventh avenue line from here but that's basically it and also you have to walk kind of far if there were to be a transfer then you'll end up at the end of the south ferry station and then guess what then you gotta walk to the other end of the south ferry station to grab the r and w so it's a little bit of walking to get to the r and w once again this transfer is just a mixed bag it's not gonna really add much it's not like the j train transfer at hughes and lorimer with the g at broadway because that's gonna open so many new connections but this isn't really going to add anything because all those trains are are together. And if you wanted to be on Broadway, then you should have been on the R train at Borough Hall. Now, we did say before, I do like how some stops give you another chance to get another train. So if they added, added a transfer here, it would be nice if you had another chance to get to the R train. 
but it's not like the R splits away. The R train is just right here. Get off the five, go to six at Brooklyn Bridge, and then go to Canal and grab the R train there if you wanted to. It's not like the R just goes all the way over here or something. No, it just runs sort of around it. Know what I'm saying? Also, shout out to the Bowling Green South Face Shuttle. Shout out to that. Shout out to all the abandoned tracks over here. It was kind of a cool shuttle. All right, everyone, that's all the changes that I'm going to be talking about. If there's some that I didn't talk about, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And maybe we'll do a part two to this video. And let me guys know what you think about the transfers that I talked about. Do you want to see a transfer from the J to the G right here? Do you want to see a transfer at Bowling Green South Ferry? Do you want to transfer at Queens Plaza to Queensboro Plaza? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. But for now, we're going to end it here. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in on Tuesdays. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one.